Hey guys and welcome to my full video how you can go Android 4.0.3 build this new ROM that's currently in Alpha 13 but Alpha 14 should come out soon uh, but how you can go ahead and install this on your Samsung Galaxy S2 i9100 now as you can see I have it already installed here you can see this beautiful lock screen uh, two things as I've said in previous videos when I've been going over this two things that doesn't work is Microphone and camera doesn't work right now because they're running on the uh, kernel 2.6 But the new kernel coming out 3.0.9 that probably is gonna fix the microphone and the camera issues uh, But that's one is currently being worked on a lot in the XDA developer forum and they make some serious progress there So you could probably see that one coming out pretty soon uh, Maybe even today but I don't think so, but uh, hopefully before Christmas, but you know, it's Christmas in you know, it's a couple of days, so I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, but, uh, so I'm on the XDA developer forum here, and uh, if I haven't said it already over here, this is gonna be a pretty long video, okay? So, you know, you better buckle up or something. Um, it's gonna be a pretty long video, I'm gonna go over everything that you um, need to do. Uh, so first thing that we're gonna do here is that we're gonna reflash or yeah, we're gonna reflash uh, our Samsung Galaxy S2 here uh, with this leaked uh, Samsung ROM build, the XXKP2, because that was the one that worked for me. So we're gonna do that, and don't be confused. Uh, don't confuse this with uh, root or anything because you don't have to do that. Like yeah, for this. Um, so what we're gonna do right here is uh, let's see what are we gonna do. Um, yeah, we're gonna turn it off. We're gonna turn our device off and then we're gonna install XXKP2. Now, I already made a video on how you can go ahead and install that, and that's like 10 minutes long, so I'm not gonna go over it uh, a lot, you know, you know, like detail that much in this video. Uh, but uh, we're just gonna go into download mode and then you're just going to Odin and, you know, pick the files and stuff like that. But I have a video about that XXKP2, how you can go ahead and install that on your Samsung Galaxy S2. So, I recommend you to go ahead and you know just watch that video. Okay, so I'm just gonna plug in my cable to my Samsung Galaxy S2 here, just like that. Download mode, volume up key. There we go, downloading. Uh, so now I'm just gonna fire up Odin on my computer. Uh, using version 1.85 and then I'm just gonna do the same things as I've been doing uh, in that video XXKP2 uh, so let's see here XXKP2 AP boot uh, PDA code uh, phone modem 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 okay there we go I'll reboot F reset time now let's uh, click on start I'm just gonna do a lot of things uh, yeah And this is going to take a couple of minutes. I don't want to pause this video or anything like that. I know I could you know, skip through this thingy, but people are scared. People want to see, you know, the whole process. That's, that's uh, you know, if something happens, they want to see it. You know, if, if something weird happens to them, they want to see, you know, if that did happen to me when I did this. So I'm not going to pause the video or anything. Uh, so it's probably going to be a long, long video. And then I have to cut this video and do all of those things. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, the fun thing about YouTube. So, factory IFS. And the parts are probably gonna be like 15 minutes or something. And what I, what kind, of, what kind of like a funny thing happened, um, I forgot to stop recording uh, my screen after I made a video. So I recorded it for like two hours. And that was like insane because that, that was a long video <laughs> and that was only you know like screen recording my screen when I was doing other things and that was like that was weird because I was watching YouTube videos and stuff like that and that was kind of awkward I'm not sure how big the file I got but I I suppose a couple of gigs uh, but yeah even though I have a quad core PC you know it did freeze my computer for a couple of seconds there Okay, factory FS, and then the kernel, and then we're gonna, you know, get it popping, get it, um, you know, boot it up and everything. And then what we're gonna do is that, uh, yeah, okay, you may wonder how are we gonna install this new ROM? Well, uh, the 
you know, usually you have like a zip file or you flash using Odin to install this new ROM, but we're just gonna copy and paste uh, some, uh, because this guy took his backup folder that he was doing in Clockwork Mod, and then he was, you know, just uh, like copy and pasting it and, you know, upload it uh, to x developer form. So what we need to do is first we need to like uh, install, after we have done this first thing here, uh, install an XSKP2, we need to go ahead and install Clockwork Mod, and we're gonna go ahead and install like Clockwork Mod 4. Point blah 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 something. Uh, and I will have a mid video about that, how you can go ahead and install Clockwork Mod on your Samsung Galaxy S2. Um, so we're gonna use that one, uh, so don't, don't freak out, I have a re really detailed video about that as well. Uh, so after we have uh, you know, the install Clockwork Mod, uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and you know, copy and paste into our SD card. Okay, I'm just gonna show you guys. I'm just gonna show you. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Because you can't freak out. It's okay. But uh, I suggest that you don't freak out. Okay, so there we go. Uh, the first thing's uh, ready to go. I'm just gonna turn it off. Okay, there we go. It did boot into system recovery right now. As you can see, that's, this is not clockwork mod, so we need to go ahead and you know flash that onto something using Odin. At least that was how I did it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reboot this now, go into download mode again. volume up and then what we're gonna go ahead and do here is remove phone and we're gonna remove bootloader and then we're gonna select the PDA it's gonna be the kernel and then we're just gonna go ahead go okay this shouldn't take too long okay all threads completed uh, there we go so uh, before we install clockwork mod we need to take this uh, you know put some files on our SD card on our phone and now it's gonna boot up that's awesome that's good news that basically means that it's it's working okay um, so that's good so as I said he, he didn't upload a zip file so you can't flash it using clockwork mod he just took his backup folder uh, in clockwork mod that he made uh, and obviously before that he wiped his data so it should work you know this should work shouldn't be any issues uh, but just uh, be careful, okay? Make sure that, you know, this, sometimes things, shit happens. So, you know, this is only for hackers and pros like me. Uh, but you also you, okay? That's why I'm making this video. Uh, but don't blame me if anything weird happens. I'm just showing how, you know, this is how I did it, okay? If you want to go ahead and try it, do it. But be careful out there, you know? It's a scary word. Word. World. Of course, I mean world. Uh, it's a scary world out there. No, it's a scary word. Okay, I'm talking too much. This is gonna take some. Uh, this is gonna take a couple of seconds actually. It could take up to a minute or something. So don't freak out. Uh, yeah, don't freak out. And as I said in previous videos, I have no idea about different variants of sensing analysis too. If it's gonna work with uh, those, uh, you know, T-Mobile and. You know, Verizon have their Samsung Galaxy to skyrocket, and you have so many different models and or variants in the U.S. and that's like insane. So I'm not sure if it's gonna work with them, but uh, I'm using the European version, and I think it's gonna work for you as well because you have the i9 to 100. But yeah, uh, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, you know, it's hard to be one of some something. It's so hard. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Okay, I'm gonna shut up. So. Uh, I suppose we should make a new part here pretty soon. I know people's attention span isn't that long, so you know, 10 minutes videos, that's, that's kind of good, you know, people like that. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, if you take 60 time, that's pretty retarded, okay, 600 seconds, 600 seconds. Uh, let's see, uh, let's see, do, 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 do. 600 seconds, okay, we're closing in. We are closing in, so I think I'm gonna make a new, like a new part when we have installed this RM because that's that's kind of clever. And yes, uh, my other video that I was making about installing ASICS KP2, it did take around 10 minutes. So you know that that's uh, what it's gonna take for like five minutes or like three to five minutes for you uh, if you have been doing this many times. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna make a second part right now because it's ready to go. Um, so see you in the next one. Oh, wait a sec. I'm not sure if I should make a second part. Hmm.
Maybe I should make a single video. Uh, yeah.